Hi Sagittarius, welcome back to my channel. If you are returning, if you're new, welcome. Make sure you subscribe if you resonate with me. Um, this will be good for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus placements, or if you're cross-watching and you're dealing with a Sag, these messages may resonate with you as well. Um, keep in mind, energies can be interchangeable because this is a general reading and I could be reading past energies, current or future. So just keep that in mind as well. Only take what resonates to your situation and don't try to force it. It's, this will not resonate with every single Sagittarius watching. If you would like to book a personal reading, you can email me at lightgirltarot at gmail.com. Okay, Sagittarius. Ooh. Some of you have new love coming in or um, somebody wanting to have a new beginning with you. Let's see what's going on. Very playful. So there is a, a, a strong sense of like a newer energy um, or some type of like resurrection of something. But it feels, um, it feels light, fun. Um, there's a lot of chemistry with this person. Okay. See... <laughs> I kept feeling like um, I shouldn't say brand new because I felt like a, an energy of someone from your past that you've dealt with before. And then what comes up? Give your relationship a chance, release your ex in reverse, and chemistry. So this is someone you have a very strong connection with, a strong magnetic attraction, right? So no matter what happens, you and this person are pulled towards each other is what I'm getting. Um, someone wants to give this relationship a chance and this is somebody who you have been unable to move on from in the past or um, this person's been unable to move on from you. This is a true love connection, um, a romance of a lifetime, Sagittarius. So this is somebody who you probably were in some type of commitment with, things ended and now they're back for a new beginning. Somebody you've been unable to move on from. Um, I see a lot of chemistry between the two of you, a lot of passion between the two of you. Um, there's some regrets here about things that have happened in the past. This person's manifested you back into their life. Law of attraction. Um, their thoughts become your reality. So this person could have been doing a lot of thinking about you. So you guys are connected in the 5D, meaning you guys probably have dreams about each other. Um, you could be communicating telepathically. Look. Memories. <laughs> a lot of memories about the past. You guys probably have a, a long history together. Um, mm -hmm. Let it go. If it's meant for you, it will come back. So, okay. Um, you and this person just get each other, I'm sensing. Like, you guys could know what each other is thinking all the time, finish each other's sentences. I feel like you and this person feel very safe together. But there could have been some type of toxicities in the past, obsessiveness, um, codependency I'm getting, um, obsession, addiction even for some of you. There could be a lot of differences between the two of you as well. Um, all right, Sagittarius. We're going to go over your energy and then we're going to go over your person's energy. Uh, keep in mind, this can be interchangeable. So just take the messages, how they resonate, whatever side uh, fits your situation and whatnot. See, look at this. The devil just <laughs> came out. So this is that toxicity that I was talking about. Codependency, addictions, feeling tied and bound to each other, unable to move on from each other. Okay. Unable to move on. Overthinking too is the thing for you guys. You or your person could be overthinking. Let's see, what's on your mind when it comes to this person? What's on your mind, Sagittarius? There's a decision needing to be made here. You could not even be communicating with this person right now. If you are, it's you're like you're trying to avoid a disaster or this is on your mind. It's like, no, I'm... One of you feels like this is completely over, right? One of you feels like this, yeah, as I say that, the world. One of you feels like this is completely over. It's like there's no point in reaching out because this is done and over with. Um, I don't want to stir anything else up, so I'm just going to leave it how it is. That would be foolish. Could be dealing with an Aries, right? So that's on your mind. Let's see. You could, again, not be communicating with this person at this time. 
very cold detached. Let's see. What's on their mind when it comes to this connection for Sagittarius? So what's on their mind? This person's remaining hopeful that things will move forward. Um, see, look, you both have the tower. This person's um, on their mind is they're still remaining hopeful. I just heard hopeful for a miracle. Um, it's like they have, they want to release you. Both of you have a decision to make, but um, they're having a hard time releasing this connection. But they're not working for it, I'm getting, or they're not, it's like who's going to reach out first type of energy I'm getting. So how do you feel, Sag? How do you feel towards this person? Wow, you and this person probably had um, a fight or an argument here with the Five of Swords. Ten of Cups. So you do have emotions for this person. You do have a lot of feelings, a lot of love for this person. You could have saw... Um, like this person as an end, the end all be all or somebody you could have seen yourself with for a long time or in like a long-term commitment, marriage, even I'm getting. For some of you, you even have children with this person. How do they feel? How do they feel towards you? How do they feel towards you, Sedge? See, they want things to move forward. But they could have turned their back to the situation or they feel like you've turned your back to the situation. See, Nine of Swords, they're stressed out, feeling um, anxious, worried, fear surrounding this connection, or surrounding things moving forward. Yeah, surrounding a coming back together, surrounding a commitment, something like that. Their stability even, I'm getting. How do you view your person, Sag? How do you view your person? Wow, you could view your person as getting attention from other people. Very... Um, victorious or popular you could view your person as wow look at this you want a new beginning with your person or you could view them as um, moving on to something new going out drinking a lot meeting new people um moving towards something new you view them as moving forward i'm getting yeah they made that final call to move forward interesting how do they view you, Sagittarius? How does your person view you? How does your person view you? How does your person view you, Sag? Waiting? Kind of um, stuck up in your head a little bit, overthinking, overanalyzing, not communicating with the Eight of Wands in reverse, not really taking action towards them. Um, you have the High Priestess holding back. But they view you as like, okay, so you're holding back, but truly you desire to work together with them or like work on this. That's how they're viewing you. Waiting. Interesting. Let's see. What's the mutual energy between the two of you? What is the mutual energy between the two of you? There you are. It's like both of you guys want to release the conflict and this connection. Both of you guys want a new beginning, want communication, um, want to take action towards each other, want to come out of conflict heal the situation. This is a lot of fire. It's definitely be dealing with another fire sign. See, um, bring things back into balance, equal give and take here. Move towards you, move towards each other. What's in the blockage? What is the challenge manifesting? Things moving slow. Um, okay, and the challenge is getting out of your head, getting out of their head, taking action. Um, this is self-sabotaging energy here. Getting out of that is in the blockage. Manifesting a commitment or coming together. Higher level of commitment here um, is in the challenge. Getting grounded, I'm hearing. Um, finding your bearings or them. Standing on their own two feet. Getting their shit together is in the blockage, I'm getting. What's in the outcome between the two of you? 
thinking a lot about the past. Somebody's unable to move on. See, six of cups in reverse. Someone's unable to move on. Six of swords. So you have a lot of sixes here. Um, moving to calmer waters is in the outcome. Somebody here is going to be standing their ground, though. I'm seeing very strong. Um, okay, let's see. Sag, what else can you tell me? Okay, so they feel very stressed out about moving things forward. They feel like you've turned your back to the situation. You feel like this person could have been your happily ever after, but there was some type of conflict, some type of fight, argument. Um, on your mind is the no communication. On their mind is um, trying to decide, make a decision. They're still remaining hopeful. Feeling stuck to the situation. They view you as being secretive, closed off, um, maybe focusing on work. You view them as getting a lot of attention from other people, victorious, um, moving on towards something new. Like they've made a final call. Okay. So yeah, new love came out in reverse again. So this is somebody that you've been dealing with before, Sagittarius. True gem, union. Could have been somebody you were in a long-term commitment with or a marriage, or you could be dealing with somebody like that. Let's see. Spiritual connection. Very spiritual connection here. Yeah, past love. What else for Sagittarius? What else for Sagittarius? Wow. Okay, so children could be involved for some of you. Um, you have, yeah, look at this. There's a lot of obstacles in the way you and this person communicate. This is a destined event here, destined um, connection, all right? Um, some of you could be dating, or this could be somebody that you met through friends or someone you um, started dating. And there was just a lot of obstacles in, in your guys' communication, I feel like. But, and the outcome is you guys moving to calmer water. So it's like, who's going to make the first move? Like, who's going to reach out to who first? Let's see. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. See, somebody keeps returning back to you even though they don't they don't want to, or this is your energy. Somebody has been like unable to move on from you. Um, somebody here feels like they should have been honest about their feelings. You make this person feel bad about themselves. Sometimes this person's ready to let their guard down with you, or this could be you with them. This person finds you very attractive or vice versa. Somebody here is keeping secrets. I feel like somebody here hasn't been completely open and honest in this connection. Um, this person does not feel deserving of you or this could be you, them. This person still feels your energy or you still feel like you guys feel very connected to each other. Um, and um, yeah, this you guys have like a very homey type of feeling or like the feelings of being safe together. And now this person feels like left out in the cold. Like you left this person or you turned your back to the situation. This is how they feel. Yeah, this person feels... So somebody here could have uh, withdrawn on communicating how they truly feel about you or vice versa. Um, so even though time is passing, this person's feelings for you has, has not changed. Um, you and this person have been together in past lives. This is a, a very destined spiritual connection. Um, it's like when you guys met each other, you may have felt like you've known each other for a long time. This person feels like they didn't believe in you. They feel like no one is going to love them the way that you loved them and they didn't appreciate you until you were gone. There can, there's a lot of confusion here on somebody's part. There's a lot of confusion surrounding this connection. Someone here feels very confused. Um, I feel like you were definitely in a commitment with this person for a long time. And um, they could have had a hard time communicating with you or opening up to you. But this could be 
swapped, so just take it how it resonates. Um, but on your thoughts, you're you're thinking about the communication too, or the lack of communication. So I'm sensing this could be their energy. Somebody had a hard time communicating. Um, there could have been a lot of like codependency arguments, something like that. And it resulted in an ending here, a moving away. But this person feels like they can't move on from you. And now they're ready to like uh, be open and honest and communicate with you the way that they should have been doing the whole time. Because they feel like no one's going to love them the, the way that you loved them. And they weren't being honest with you. And you're where they feel safe, I'm getting. Um, so I'm also sensing there could be like a lot of outside influences in this connection or a lot of gossip surrounding this connection. But the person you're dealing with has a lot of regrets. They have a lot of regrets in the way that things transpired in your guys' connection. You could feel like you guys are incompatible in a lot of ways, um, which is interesting. There could be an age difference between the two of you for some of you, but I feel like Somebody here really needs to get, like, I just keep hearing, like, needs to get their shit together and needs to be able to stand on their own two feet before this comes back together. But I do see, um, for some of you, you are going to have a reunion with this person, okay? So, that's what I have for you. I hope that resonated. Let me know. Leave me a comment, like, share, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys soon.